Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review, and today from Hasbro in the Star Wars Black Series line, we are featuring the Dark Trooper from Star Wars The Mandalorian. Alright, so I remember when The Mandalorian uh, debuted the Dark Trooper, there was so much fan excitement um, over this character. Uh, for a long time now, um, the Dark Trooper was a popular character in the Star Wars EU, uh, the Expanded Universe. If you're familiar with some of like, the comic books put out by Dark Horse or any of the novelizations or the f uh, fictions or even like some of the older Power of the Forest line of toys, uh, the Dark Trooper was just one of those very unique Imperial elements that you kind of always wished made it to the big screen. You know, it was very hulking, it was very massive, imposing. And it was just unfortunate that we never got a live action version of the Dark Trooper until now. Uh, the figure comes into the larger deluxe sized box with multiple accessories. Uh, comes with some effects on the right, uh, extra hands, and of course it's blaster. On the side, um, nice illustration of the Dark Trooper. And let's take a look at the bio. The hulking Imperial combat droids with gleaming black armor and powerful jet boots. The Dark Troopers are a powerful design. Yes, they are. They're very cool. I remember after the episode aired, I kind of like started diving into my old bin of like older Star Wars figures trying to find my Power of the Force Dark Trooper. And I, <laughs> unfortunately, I couldn't find it. I don't know where I put it. Uh, nonetheless, I'm very happy to have this Black Series one. Uh, this is fi a figure that you would probably definitely would want to army build, but I think the thing that might hold you back from buying too many is that it's a deluxe figure, and the price point on the deluxe figures can be kind of astronomical, even like at retail. So, All right, for now, we're just going to examine the figure. Uh, I'm going to leave the accessories in the tray, and we're just going to focus on this big, awesome robot. And let's get him into focus. So yeah, you're getting a lot of accessories and a nice black sheen. He looks awesome. Alright, so we have the Dark Trooper in all his robot glory. Uh, my first thought too when I when I was handling this figure um, is that with this sh like brilliant sheen of black, it's very glossy. It feels like it's going to be a dust magnet. It's uh, for example, um, I'm kind of a gamer, and back in the day, I used to play a lot on the uh, PS, the PlayStation Vita, and it was kind of this beautiful piano black, much like this. But man, it was a, a magnet for like fingerprints and dust. Uh, but Man, this is a cool figure. It's a really nice, you know, representation of the Dark Trooper. Uh, since it's never really seen, you know, a live action appearance, I think they took some liberties and kind of updated the design a little. And you won't get an argument from me. I think what they did to like revise it looks really, really cool. Um, lots of articulation. The armor pieces is kind of weird. It kind of floats around the flak jacket on his chest. Uh, but the detailing's nice. There's a nice um, up close shot of his helmet. Let's bring into focus. There we go. Kind of has like the vents in the front, the red eyes, a chest box. Again, this is like a separate armor piece, and the shoulders here are articulated. You'll notice some silver highlighting on some of the joints. But again, a really nice shade of black. It looks beautiful. Uh, his head rotates. His arms move. They go outward. Elbow bend. Elbow swivel. Um, uh, is there a cut? Yeah, there's a cut beneath the chest. So he can rotate and move around. There is no waist swivel. Uh, his wrists are, are, I think they're articulated. Yeah, they're articulated here. And they actually even roll at the weird joint right there. So that's kind of a nice bonus. Um, legs kick up, um, outward, 
and then they bend at the knee joint and at the ankle. So overall, it's a very solid figure. Again, it's something I think that if you go forward to army build it, um, it's very impressive. You know, if you have Moff Gideon, buy a couple of these and just like put one on each side of them and it looks kind of cool. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked on this figure. It's kind of weird, he, like feeling him. I'm not sure if it's from the mold release agent, but he kind of has like almost like a like an oily, greasy feel to him. It's kind of it's kind of bizarre. But yeah, great action figure nonetheless. Definitely worth the purchase. It's been out for some time. Uh, chances are you might not be able to find them on the shelves anymore. Uh, but if you hunt them down on the secondary market, just make sure you pay a reasonable price for them. I mean, I kind of felt he was overpriced to begin with at retail. So in my opinion, if you could find him for like $25 to $30, go for it. If he's if he's edging more towards $40, bucks, eh, it might not be worth it then. Unless you really want them. Alright, so with that being said, let's wrap this one up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. Alright, later.